This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. With different media outlets reporting about the problems of Social Security, many are curious about retirement issues, including how can a person prepare for retirement. And this morning, we have Jeff Romine in this morning to talk more about what we need when it comes to retiring. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing right. great. So I'm nowhere near to retirement. I probably have, I would say, maybe 60, 70 more years until I can even retire. 60 or 70 at least. <laughs> <laughs> so should I, at my age, start thinking about retirement? Yes, you should. And in fact, every single person should be thinking about retirement. And, uh, and primarily because of some of the changes that are occurring. For instance, uh, the question about uh, viability of Social Security in the future. And then many companies are trying to uh, reduce their pension costs. And what this does is it pushes the burden over on individuals to shoulder that responsibility. So without doubt, you should, everyone should be thinking about what will they have um, in retirement and what their uh, future will be. Okay, so now we have somebody that's starting to think about retirement. What are the things that they need in order to uh, prepare for their retirement years? Well, you, you need to consider uh, what sort of costs you're going to have in your, in your, in your retirement lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And uh, that retirement um, lifestyle has to be covered by the income that you have. Income from your um, uh, Social Security, if there's any, or income from uh, your pensions. And so um, there's a, really a couple approaches to thinking about how much you need to have in your, um, um, uh, how much you have for income. And one approach is to just try and have 60 to 90 percent of the income that you had pr immediately prior to retiring. And uh, the problem with that is that that doesn't really consider that your unique circumstances. Um, um, and so another approach is to actually sit down and calculate what every single expense you'll have in retirement will be. And consider those expenses that are going to start and consider those expenses that are going to stop. Um, and, and work hard to make an effort to calculate what your costs will be. Right. Um, oftentimes, you, one wants to be sure to consider right. uh, inflation because mm -hmm. it, today well, things will be a, a one price and then in, in 70 years <laughs> yeah. when you retire, Ella, there will be a, uh, quite a bit more. So uh, how much... For myself, for instance, how, how much do I need to save? Like, how do I calculate that, and where do well, I begin? Well, that's a really great question, Ella, because every single person's number would be a little bit different, mm -hmm. and it would be dependent upon how much their lifestyle costs will be and then how much income they anticipate, mm -hmm. because you're going to have to make up the income shortfall or the gap with income off of your assets. And so um, those... Uh, um, and you have to decide. But in the meantime, a person needs to be thinking about saving approximately 15% of their uh, income to, uh, for that moment. Uh, a year or 15, per paycheck? 15%, well, 15% 15 of your income um, per paycheck, 15% of your income okay. for the entire year. Okay, and so what are, uh, is that a strategy that you suggest for people? <clears throat> well, um, um, actually, you'd need to consider some other things to know okay. for sure if that's uh, um, um, a... Uh, uh, your strategy because you want to ask yourself well at what time do you plan to retire and if you retire earlier of course then you're going to have to have saved more mm -hmm. so the 15 percent might need to be a larger number and uh, you need to consider what your life expectancy is and uh, the longer you live of course the more years for retirement you'd need to prepare for and uh, um, you need to think about well what sort of rate of growth uh, am I going to have on my assets and we recommend that individuals be very conservative in their mm -hmm. estimates so that they'll uh, estimate correct, uh, close to it. And then, uh, um, and then do you anticipate dipping into your principal? Do mm -hmm. you want to leave uh, money to others um, at your, uh, upon your death? And so uh, as a result of that, you would want to have a very effective strategy. Right. So now when you say dipping in, do you recommend for any reason whatsoever to dip in and take money out of your 401k at all? Or is that something where <coughs> you would recommend somebody maybe well, the, the standard rule of thought is that you do not want to dip into your 401k whatsoever whatsoever however um, and I think what that's saying is you want to you want to definitely rule in your living costs so that you can live without dipping into your 401k um, but there are sometimes there are emergencies and instances 
that one might want to reconsider right. that general rule. That's right. And my last question is, um, for people, obviously everybody makes different amounts. You know, there's some people that are making minimum wage and maybe can't afford to take 15% out to, to go towards retirement. Do you recommend them, you know, maybe even, you know, $5 a paycheck or, or something like that, or, or wait until you are able to? Well, uh, I would say for sure, you need to start building a plan. But in that plan, it may very well be that you'd have a, uh, um, a, pro a pro attain a professional degree or something like that. Depends on what age you're at. Um, you'd, and what, but what we're saying is that you want to develop a balance between living for today and living for that time in your retirement. Okay. And uh, have some sort of balance there. And then, uh, um, and as a result of that, you'd want to consider all of your expenses. And yes, absolutely, you'd want to start as soon as possible. Include tax professionals in your discussion. Make sure that you talk with them about some of your options. And, uh, um, and then go forward with a, uh, a good plan. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com, and we'll be right back.